We'd like to present you a fully automatic sample preparation for Headspace GC analysis. A PAW3 Connect has been equipped with a Vortexer, an agitator, an integrated analytical balance and a crude rack for storing the internal standard. The controlling software Cronus provides not only an interlacing of single steps of sample preparation, but also allows individual documentation of various values such as weight, injected volumina or runtime with internal software or external with Excel. The left arm of the auto sampler is equipped with a changing tool for headspace injection and transports the sample inside a 20 ml vial to the analytical balance. The analytical balance determines and documents the weight of the sample. The left arm transports the sample back from the analytical balance to the rack. The right arm of the outer sampler with an automatically exchangeable tool for liquid injection it takes the 2 ml vial with the internal standard from the crude rack and transports it to the vortexer where it is homogenized at 2000 rpm. Afterwards, the right arm of the auto sampler puts the internal standard back into the cool rack. The syringe is filled with the internal standard, taking into account the weight of the sample. The internal standard is injected into the 20 ml sample vial. The vial is transported to the vortexer where the sample with the added standard is homogenized. The analytical balance measures the weight of the vial with the internal standard. Afterwards, the vial is placed into the agitator for incubation. There, the vial is heated with a temperature from 30 to 200 degrees Celsius and can be shaken optionally with a velocity from 250 to 750 rpm. After the end of the incubation cycle, the Paul 3 Connect waits for the ready signal of the gas chromatograph. Then, a defined volume of the gaseous phase is injected into the GC inlet. To stop a cooling down of the gas sample and thus to avoid condensation of substances in the sample, the syringe of the headspace tool is heatable. After the injection of the sample into the GC inlet, the right auto sampler flushes off residues of the internal standard from its liquid syringe at the wash station. The sample vial returns from the agitator back to the sample rack. The left arm returns to its home position and flushes the gas syringe with carrier gas to avoid carryover from sample residues in the next test run.